determined to keep going after a knockout. A Pine Bluff boxing program that helps at-risk kids loses a bid for funding to host the state's first combined professional and amateur competition. Fox 16, Susan L. Corey explains how they're trying to get back on their feet. Two, one. Two, one. Every day after school, one. this one. ring at the Gloves Not two, Guns one. gym is where you'll find Dimitri two, Williams. Two. I don't know what I'd be doing if I won boxing. The 13 year old determined to go pro. I love boxing, and like when you love something, you would do anything for it to stay in it. But the program that trains him is going toe to toe in a fight for funding. What about the kids? Two, Are we going to get the money? Three. Coach Albert Brewer dealt a blow. He'd been planning a pro and amateur competition asking the city for $25,000. A plan alderman voted down four to three. If we don't sponsor these kids, if we don't support these kids, the streets going to support them. Doing more with less is a theme around here. Gear is falling apart. Even the ring is taped together. But in 20 years as a coach, Brewer is following his own advice. Still keep fighting. I'm a fighter. Teaching kids surrounded by violence. Sometimes you just want to quit. To keep swinging for what truly matters. You'll have another shot someday, so you keep going. In Pine Bluff, I'm Susan L. Corey. Hmm. Howard Brewer was a good man with a good heart. Gloves, not guns, still plans to hold the amateur part of the competition. They were hoping for a bigger event to draw in more funding for their program.